you know, I thought it was a good good performance tonight uh, against the Emporia State team that is, I think, is much better than uh, last year or the last time we played them. I don't know if it was last year or maybe the year before, but uh, they've got some size. They've got some shooters. Uh, they beat UMKC last night, a Division I team. So obviously they're a little leg weary coming from Kansas City to play an afternoon game. So. Uh, I'm, I'm, but I'm pleased. I'm pleased with the way our, our guys played. I uh, thought we shot it well. Um, we tried to do a lot of things in preparation for a big week. We've got four games in eight days. So I thought we got that accomplished. Greg, you haven't uh, really played yet since Thursday night. Uh, what do you think you need to do in order to get better? Possibly. They're pretty good. Possibly. Possibly. They're pretty good. Uh, they're obviously very talented. Uh, they have a good chemistry amongst themselves uh, together. And, um, you know, we did, the good news is we didn't have to tonight because Monday, we, four games in eight days, it's a lot of basketball. So they're going to be called on and to play a lot of minutes. But I also like to develop depth, as you know, because things happen. You know, hopefully they won't happen, but injuries and – uh, foul trouble and things like that. So you got to have other guys that can play. And this is a time to develop depth. Coach, you said after the exhibition that you wanted the front court guys to, to rebound more and to do more down low. Did you see more of that tonight? Because Fred's leading in rebounds with six, and then you had Fadrack and Mysterious uh, coming up with five each. So are, how long is it going to take to develop this front court? Well, the big, the big, the big stat is plus 12 on, on the on the glass. So as a team, we out rebound them by 12, and um, you know they got they secured four offensive rebounds, and they got three team offensive rebounds. Um, you know, Shadrack I thought rebounded well. He had five and 14 minutes. I loved his offensive rebound on the foul line. Kadeem just couldn't get any any rhythm. He got a couple of cheap fouls and. And he ends up with three and 15. So that's that's eight rebounds in 29 minutes. It's not bad. But again, uh, something we're working on. It's a, it's it's um, it's we're cognizant of, of them needing to rebound better and better and better. And and they're they're working at it very hard, very diligently. So hopefully we can get them better and they can continue to rebound well. Fred got most of his after it had hit the ground. So those guys need to get them when they're in the air. On kind of the same note, though, do you feel like you have a pure like back to the basket shooter? Because it seemed at times like either uh, Kadeem wasn't able to make that turn, or he passed back out to the outside. Um, well, again, Kadeem Kadeem just never got in a rhythm. He shot it one time, he made it. CJ was two for four, um, and then you got to add Darius in there. He just he uh, he rushed things a little bit tonight. I, I loved his moves, uh, but he didn't get him to go through the net. So. He says to me when he came out of the game the very last time, he goes, it's so much easier than practice. And I said, well, that's by design. Now he just stick the basketball in the basket. What's the level of understanding with those two guys, Fred and Ron, of basketball that this comes naturally to them? And how, how does that change how you coach them at all? Well, I mean, uh, I coach them with a smile on my face. I, I love coaching them. They, they, they understand what we're trying to do as well or better than I do. So, and, and they're so young. You know, both of them are sophomores, so it's good. Um, I thought they had some beautiful assists tonight. I thought they had some beautiful shots tonight. Uh, they, they, they rebound well. They defend well. They just make basketball plays. They do have a very good understanding of, of what it takes to be successful, and I'm just excited they're on our side. I hope so. Uh, we've got some long, athletic guys that, like I prefer to have, and you know, Clee and Darius and those guys can really fill a lane and run, run, run hard. And uh, Nick Wiggins, I thought ran well tonight. Um, Cotton got he was kind of the the guard equivalent of uh, of Kadeem tonight. He just it wasn't his night. All the ticky tack fouls went against him, so he. Um, he didn't get in a rhythm, but the other guys I thought really played well, ran well. Uh, I thought our pressure was pretty good. We got our hands on a lot of balls, which created some good scoring opportunities. And good night, good start.
Have you had many guys coach that can ignite a crowd the way Ron does? It just seems like he's got him beaten out of his hand the whole game. Um, I don't know any. I don't know if any better than him. You know, he he makes he makes plays. He jumps into the stands. He probably sells some popcorn. I don't know what he does, but he he does a little bit of everything. I thought he had a great rebound tonight. He got back and secured a, a defensive rebound in a crowd and, and ignited a fast break. Uh, it was just tremendous. Seven of nine shooting, just efficient. Yeah, seven of nine. That's that's pretty good. 17 points. I, that that makes me think of the night that uh, Joe Raglan scored 31 on what 11 shots or something like that. It was crazy. These two games, how they prepared you for for what's coming up Monday and beyond? Um, well, the Monday Monday ones the one we're dealing with right now. That's a good good basketball team coming in. It's an odd start time. It's ESPN. It's it's a quality basketball team that. Is going to win a lot of games and have a chance to go back to the NCAA tournament. So we've got a—that's the one we're focused on. Uh, we've already watched some film. I don't usually do that, but with this, the way this these games shook out, I was already—we've already been working on Western Kentucky and practice and whatnot without them knowing it. Well, without Western Kentucky knowing it too. <laughs> yeah, how would you describe Western Kentucky? Uh, how would I describe them? They wear white and red. Um, um, they've. Uh, they usually have five guys out there, huh? How about a basketball banner? What do they do? Well, or? Uh, they, they, they have a lot of good players, and they scored. They, they, you know, they had a great run in their tournament last year to secure a second consecutive NCAA tournament bid. And, Fant's a good post player, and Price is a good scorer, kind of a Tikel Cotton, real strong guy that drives it and shoots it. So we're on to him. And this game, Coach, just doesn't affect the RPI and none of that. It just throughout the season, you can be a certain record, but it just will never take that into account, correct? Correct. It, it does count in the win totals. Um, I mean, but then they'll throw it out of the RPI equation. Doesn't doesn't affect the RPI one way or the other. Coach just went out. Just hadn't gotten a, a comment from you on it yet about redshirting Rion and Shaq. I know you said there weren't a lot of guys to choose from exactly to redshirt. What were what was your exact reasoning behind it? Or what was their well, I, I think uh, it's pretty obvious. Rion needs to get a little stronger uh, to continue to work on his ball handling, become a, a, a guy that we could use at the point instead of just a very small two guard. Uh, he thinks he's the biggest guy in the in the room. Uh, He's tenacious. He can really score it, and he he had an unbelievable practice yesterday after making the decision to red shirt. Right now, if if we were playing a game and I had to try to win the game, he would be the fourth string point guard and the third or fourth string two guard. So, I mean, why waste a year? Why waste a year? And he's going to be really good when he's 23 years old. Um, same thing with Shaq. Shaq, um, Shaq's deal is he needs to learn how to go as hard as he possibly can for as long as he possibly can without any drop off in terms of his energy, effort, enthusiasm, passion, um, and, and, and it's an, an adjustment for him. I, but I think he wants to do it, and he's a great kid as well. And uh, he'll end up being uh, the, the, our host for recruits in the future. He's just got a great personality. He and Rion are awesome young people. So, and after the way he practiced as well yesterday, I think he's going to be a dynamite performer too when he puts it all together. So, um, and right now he's third or fourth string at the five. And he can't play the four right now because he can't guard out there. So, that's where we are.